Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So today we're going to take up a five skull mission, but before we do that, let's have a look at the mech base. Uh, so we got all the mechs back, everything's ready to go. I'm going to show you the Atlas loadout plus the two uh, Timberwolf loadouts. Let's start off with the Timberwolf E. So this guy, like I said, is basically designed as a second line mech. Um, it's kind of a ripoff of Goofy's mech, with the exception that it's not carrying any lasers. So it's pretty much got the same loadout, pair of ATM-9s, pair of ATM-6s, uh, Omnipar lower arms to give it bonuses to hit. It's got a tag barrage and plenty of ammo to last for quite a while. Uh, it's an ATM, what, 30 build? So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 16 turns of continuous firing. Uh, tracker sensors for long range, long range fire, uh, tactics support, uh, for uh, more indirect stuff, um, fire control system Artemis for a better chance to hit. Uh, heat efficiency is actually really good. So, and we got one jump jet just in case. So that's what this guy loaded out to be. For now, this is what, how he's going to sit. We'll see how it goes, uh, you know, coming up. We got lots of stuff that we could load onto this thing as a different loadout. But for now, this is just a beeline mech. So that's the way this guy played out. And then since we pulled the archer out of service, the second archer, let's go to the Timberwolf E now. So the Timberwolf E, oops, we just did that one. It's the H I want. Where are you? There you are. They moved around on me. All right, here we go. So the H is an LRM-60 boat, not a 70. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the um, Archer was. It's got a pair of diverse optics, medium laser uh, pluses in the arms here. Just about the same range, but way less heat. Uh, still the same damage. Um, pair of LRM-15s in each arm. Arm pods in each arm, tons of uh, um, arrow ammo. Uh, so this guy should be able to go for quite a long time. The heat efficiency is not so good, but if you take 24 off that, which is what the medium lasers are, we're hitting uh, 72, 74. So it's actually really good as long as we're not firing the medium lasers continuously. So yeah, uh, that's, that's this guy. Uh, oh yeah, we got uh, missile range on this. I don't have, I didn't have another ER uh, uh, or extended range. Um, like tracker sensors for this so I had to go with the missile range for increased range Artemis 4 fire control system so yeah it's a basic loadout in both these mechs uh, both of the Timberwolves have full armor so we don't have to worry about worry worry about how much armor they have on them now for the big boy the Atlas so I toyed around with this thing quite a bit trying to figure out how I was gonna load this out I thought about the ultra auto cannon 2 build um, streak LRMs which we have all kinds of stuff Thought about taking the PPCs off the Orion, which I never did. So this guy is kind of a hybrid of a couple of our mechs. Uh, for now, it's going to sit this way until I see how the loadout works. I think it's going to work pretty well. Um, and then I'm open to other choices for this guy, but I'll, I'll just show you what we got here. So the Atlas, um, we've got a pair of large improved heavy lasers, one on each arm. A pair of ER large lasers, one on each arm, all supported by arm uh, weapon mounts for plus three to hit. Uh, then we got a rotary 5 in the torso here, and it's all backed up by pro double heat sinks, laser, laser AMS for backup. I did leave the, the compact gyro in here. Um, I don't think we, uh, I think it was Fist of Dorm mentioning the, uh, yeah, we don't have a um, dreadnought gyro. We're putting a heavy gyro in this thing so it could take uh, um, tons of uh, punishment and not take any stability loss. Um, but yeah, so right now this is kind of how it's going to go. The heat sinking on this is quite good. Uh, we're over by 12, but that's fine. We, I mean, we can bounce it back and forth. We have a heat bank in here to extend that. Um, 320 core. I was going to put the 300 in, but then I thought the 320 is just slightly faster. So we'd go with that. A couple of pluses, uh, uh, a double plus um, engine heat sink core here in the center too. So all backed up by case two with uh, five tons of rack ammo, which is the same as what the Zeus is carrying. So yeah, overall, I think this is going to work out really well. The, the benefit of this guy over the Zeus, though, is if, once, if we're fighting to the end and we run out of rotary ammo, we still have the four lasers that we can, we can work with. Whereas when the Zeus runs out of ammo, we're, we're pretty much down to a medium laser. So that's the big deal with this guy. So there you go, and I mean, not a lot of space. I mean, this compact gyro is really helping us out. Um, we saved three slots with this thing, or two slots, I think it was. So that, that's really, really helped us out here overall, space-wise. It doesn't have a lot of space in it. If you go with a cool build on this thing, you know, you're looking at auto cannon builds, um, but if you're going lasers, like we did with this guy on the arms, 
um, then you definitely have to have uh, that X the uh, compact gyro and because you're going to need the, the bonus exchangers and all these prototype double heats like you need tons of stuff in here to make this work so uh, that's kind of how it rounded out now we got a clan cockpit co clan cockpit in here um, tracker sensors um, for those long range shots the bonus of these guys with a plus three hit too is is going to be nice um, Guardian ECM and then for the rack I put in the uh, fire control system auto cannon which gives us plus two to hit minus one recoil so that'll help out a little bit with this not much but a little bit you know I, I got a feeling we'll be jamming more often um, probably once every turn every time we fire it or so but or once every two turns but we'll see how it goes all right so that's the Atlas so let's get these guys into battle uh, command center we know what mission we're taking today we're gonna go lost contact it's against Clan Wolf, so Clan Wolf's dropping a bit, and Jade Falcon's going up, and we'll be about the same here, so now we can bounce back and forth between the two, so let's accept this. It is five skulls, so this is going to be an interesting fight. Um, I think we're going to leave the Zeus uh, with um, Hellion, because she's been doing so well with it. We'll put the Atlas in here. Now, Night Gear, this one is the AMS boat. We definitely need to have that with us today. Um... Now, do we go laser or do we go missile? This is the trickiness about this now. What do we do? I mean, we could go this timber wolf. It's got a watchdog suite on it, missile range. Well, it's going to have less accuracy. That's the problem, right? Whereas the archer will have more. Um... Laser, we could go ATM, heavier firepower. It's got the tag barrage on it too. It does have the sensor trackers. Um, or tracker sensors. Sensors, tracker, whatever you want to call it. Let's try that. All right, Gundal, uh, Mastodon, and Workhorse. I think we're going to run this. Um, I'm definitely going to be trying to use the Inferno ammo a lot more as well as the uh, Hydra ammo that we've got on the uh, um, the Night Gear AMS. So let's run this, see how it goes. I don't know what to expect with this five skull mission, but let's deploy and get it done. Okay, deep breath. This is not the best map for this mission. Oh man. Shit. Okay. That's our way out, huh? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. So they got a lance here and three lances back here. It's twenty guys. I don't know if they're gonna have reinforcements, but Commander. I have no idea. Um, how do I want to play this? I think I want to make them stick their noses out. Let's do this. I want to pull them away from there. Ah, uh, you want a hill. Alright, that's fine. I don't know if the dashies were just blocking them in or what. How might I help? Let's get around this side. I think Fist of Dorm was right too. He was saying I might want to go with more... Uh, get some more night gears as opposed to the um, the uh, Timberwolves. I think he's probably right, you know. We can get more in the night gears than we can get in the Timberwolves. Although the Timberwolves are fast, I don't know if one extra chevron of evasion is going to make that big of a deal. Alright, let's...
You've just got arrow, so let's back you up. On the move. We got lots of turns of firing, so I'm not that worried at all. We're going to go with regular ammo to start. Let's just drop it right in here, because I'm sure there's plenty of guys standing right there. Let's give some soften them up. Let's give some soften them up. The hell kind of language is that? All right, buddy. Um, walk it over here. Can't wait to see this Atlas in action. I know we're bunching up right now, but we won't be shortly. Now we don't have a jump jet in the Atlas, which can be an issue. Actually, let's, let's move and brace. Okay, let's hope they don't have a lot of indirect. All right, we got detection here. What do we got? Raptor 2? Okay. If that's a sign of things to come, I'll be happy. Not the best salvage, but best chance of survival. Okay, a ghost. Let's reserve it. Okay, what's that? A Naga, okay. It's a lot of armor. Be nice to get one of those guys. <laughs> Breaching shot ignores guarded. Yeah, only if you hit. Warhammer, okay. Weight's starting to rack up a little bit here. Thing I like about it though is they're nice in the open over there. At least the ghost is. Hopefully we can shred him quickly. We got an Orion. All right. That AMS is working overload. Now I, pol I apologize once again. I forgot who mentioned it, but someone mentioned maybe splitting up the AMSs on a couple of mechs. That's something I'm going to look into definitely. Uh, maybe an advanced we, we've got two advanced AMS's now so we put one on one Mac one on another and uh, we can move our guys further apart that's probably a really good idea yeah the dreadnought gyro on Gundal would be a good idea I think we need to raise his piloting up to get his uh, to get his instability um, threshold up a little higher Rhino fire support. Okay, the Orion is our first target. Direct fire, unless there's somebody else up close here. Okay, that's the, what, a carrier? Yeah. Okay, you know what? Fist of Dorn has been mentioning this over and over again, and I keep, for, I keep not realizing until this moment what he was saying. The pluses here is the, I guess the, that's the support lance. It shows you where the lance is here. Yeah, I, I didn't even think, you know, honestly, I keep forgetting going into battle to even look at that. All right, someone wants to show us their back. Let's see what it is. Raptor. Mm. Ryan. Oh, self-propelled artillery. Well, there's our first target. Um, 75 tons, huh? That's a lot of armor. We're going to dump everything into it, including the barrage. We're going to warlord this. I want this thing gone now, rather than later. It's fire. Not a kill, but lots of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. What was that? I missed it. The 
They're loving the Atlas, that's for sure. Oh, Atlas 2C, okay. Yeah, well, as long as they ain't shooting at you. See, this thing, the movement is just... I love the movement on these, these, uh... The Timberwolves, you know? It's one of the reasons why I love them so much. It's just a little bit short of, of, uh weaponry compared to the other mechs but the speed we don't have he range all right that's fine uh i am going to go with warlord and i am going to go with the barrage on this thing because like i said it needs to be gone beautiful missed with the barrage though off to the right here somewhere yeah just a little short but that's fine our stability thanks you our stability and my sanity, thank you. All right, who do we got left? A lot of big, a lot of big boys left here. Okay, looks like we've got a bunch of guys grouped up over here. Grand Summoner, Naga, the Warhammer. God, Puma. It's a lot of missiles. They're loving that Atlas. A good thing I braced, man, and didn't run. Sniper. Okay. Do we have a line of sight on we got a line of sight of a lot of people here. 93 with the largest and the tag. 70 here. That's a pretty good loadout for Narayan, man. Pair of 4s, pair of 15s, 2 ER larges, and Ultra 5. Um, can only shoot at one guy. Is that going to be close enough? Oh, we got a back shot in the Atlas 2C. That's not going to be a kill shot, though. That's the Raptor back shot. That would probably be a kill shot if we hit. And this guy won't be a kill. He's got lots of armor. Let's try for the Raptor. I know it sounds silly, but I got a feeling that Atlas is going to go before my other guys. And if it does, it's going to turn around and all the back damage will be wasted. Whereas this Raptor, I'm sure, is already gone. Let's target him. Okay, there's a kill. Okay, guns off the field. We get first blood. Feeling good about that. We've only got one LRM set. Oh, we don't have an LRM 70 boat. That's right. I was going to say, drop it on the carriers, but we can't. This guy, though. Goofy can hit. This guy's got ATMs and LRMs, so we need to hit that. He's got AMS, too. Um, they got a stealth, bo a stealth bomber back there. Rapical bore. Yeah. Oh, he's got HA forties. Yes, Commander. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Shall I show you what I did with mine? Grand Summoner. Heavy's out of range, eh? Okay, this is a split fire. Gonna shoot, uh, where are you? Grand Summoner? 
Um, let's see if we can do some damage on this artillery vehicle. Nice. All right, one hit, beautiful. You know, maybe might be worth considering dropping the heavy goss and putting in two more regular gosses for long range. But this guy's braced too, so he did take a lot less damage. Yeah, I see the Atlas, he moved. They're banging through my armor. Yeah. You're not going to be standing there very long, don't worry about it. Let's see if we can kill this guy. That's pretty damn good chances to hit. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this loadout for sure. Let's see how we do here. Uh, let's see if we can wreck this guy. Two heavies hit. Four hits with the rack. Not bad. Let's drop to a position where they can't see me direct fire. Get some stability back. You have I do. Just want you on this side for now. Oh, this guy's out of range. Damn. All right. Well, we know we we, we know we need we need to hit this guy anyway. So I know he's got an AMS, but we got to start on him. Who do we have left here? Anybody? Duck. Waiting for orders. All right. Now let's switch over. And let's go right in here. These guys are direct fire on us. Roger that. Enjoy the heat, Bob. Bubba's enjoy the heat. Let's move up into here. On my way. Yeah, workhorse. AMSs are still working. Wow, we burned through like what 323 rounds already um, switch over to Hydra and let's roast the Orion he's got a fair amount why can't I fire they're out of range what what Not the best positions to be in here. All right, let's move up here then. Doesn't put everybody in our uh, protective radius, but most people are. 5.8, huh? Yeah, see... Twenty percent in the Grand Summoner. That's the Puma. Not much better either way. Well, let's. Uh, it's going to be a long battle. It's going to be a long battle. Let's give it a few minutes. I'm sure, we're going to be better off direct fire, but we can't uh, be stepping out with this thing right away. Hopefully we'll be able to target the carrier. All right, workhorse. Ready for order. Wow, your first next turn, really? Yeah, see, like even. Yeah, 
You know what? Let's reserve you. Yeah, that's the that's the way to say it. Not that you have a shitty chance to hit people, but you're holding for the right opportunity. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Yeah. All right, Mastodon. 67 on the ghost, eh? Where is the... Cascatel is the flyer. Okay. Um, that puts me in direct line of sight of just a handful. So let's move up a little bit. Three chevrons of evasion, not bad. Puma, oh, terrible, eh? 42 in the Orion, 42 in the Dire Wolf, Grand Summoner. The Cascatel, 42%? We want to see if we can take that out? I don't think we can use HE, we're not even close enough yet. Um, Now, I think we go after this guy. We might get lucky and kill it. Nope. Damn. That hit something good. Yeah, it did. Yeah, definitely missing the archers though, gotta say. On this map. Because we're so far back, right? We're just kind of at extreme range right now for everything. Okay, uh, we got to kill this vehicle this turn. The Orion's in a good place to die. Grand Summoner might take another hit on the side. I don't know what we'll do with that yet. Okay, not bad. I'm messing up the camera again. Apologize, guys. But you know me. Okay, that was the Cascatel, looks like. He's moving out the way. Or he's moving now. Is that him? I think if we get used to rotating one guy into position to be shot at and then rotating them out as long as these guys decide that they want to just fire at long range I'm kind of good with that we're gonna run out of AMS ammo real fast but four turns from now when we're out these guys are gonna have been shredded already um, Alright, what do we got direct fire wise here? Dire Wolf. Let's do a multi target now. Let's go after you and you. The Orion can take the rack and the we'll put these guys on the SM. I want to leave this off. No, let's leave it on, make sure we get the kill. Oh, didn't even get the kill on it. Damn it. Five hits. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. You are a beast. Mm -hmm. Getting them trees. Getting them trees, please. Shocked this vehicle's not dead yet. It's got like no armor. It's got like nothing left. Oh, the Atlas has got a bit of speed to it. Just shot your own communication tower down. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, we're going to back up from that Atlas though, buddy. What's the plan? The plan? Stan? Uh, 
you do not have the ability to get in and get that uh, artillery vehicle. Don't have the range. So let's just attack this guy again. Better chance to hit. Yes, Commander. Just back up slightly. Don't want to push on these guys just yet. They got way too much firepower. Once we pull down a couple more mechs, then we'll push. We got the pinpoint from this range, so I'm not worried about it. And then once these two ATM mechs get in close and we switch over to HE, we're going to start shredding people like crazy. Okay. Orders. Duck. Um... We try and shut these guys down? Let's do it. Let's just try and shut these guys down. Oh, we got that vehicle too. Beautiful. We don't have to shoot him now. Yeah, you stay there. I wonder how much heat those guys have got on them now. Okay, we got 11 rounds. It's just five and a half turns of firing of the Inferno left. I never thought of it, I, I never thought about the Inferno ammo as being something that would tie up our opponents. Because um, if you think about it, that's exactly what they're what it's doing. It's just basically taking these four guys, well three of them anyway, out of the picture for a bit. Uh, let's just hammer the Orion. Okay, looks like there was a penetration there. Just move over. This was the 2C. I think they're both 2Cs. 1600 hit points each. Or armor each. Yeah, you need to get out of there, man. Yeah, we got all of the AMS on them, too. So I want to take a second here to talk about uh, what's going on with Harebrained Schemes. I'm not sure if you guys know, um, but they've announced that they're not going to be developing stuff for Battletech um, in the near future. When their next uh, patch release comes out, uh, 1.9, that's going to be it for a while. they got to focus on other things. So to me, um, that doesn't bug me that much. The reason why is, is it's going to allow the Rogue Tech team to work on their their um, their mod here and develop it on a st on a actually stable um, build, like the build that they've got right now, um, or when it reaches 1.9, we won't have to like they'll be able to work just on that and that alone, which is going to be really nice. All right, let's hit this guy. Ooh, that was terrible. Uh, so for me, that just all that says is that we're going to have a much better version of Rogue Tech. Um, not that it matters. Um, let's move up to... Here. So anyway, I'm really hoping that... Um, 20%, eh? I'm really hoping that, um, you know, in the future that, uh, oh, beautiful, that the build uh, gets a lot more stable once it's under 1.9. I mean, it should. Um, and then when it's even, like, when it's stable like that, then uh, I'm just looking forward to, like, good things, right? So, all right, let's see if we can get a kill on this guy. There it is. Okay, it's three. I want to give those guys another option to shoot for. 
rather than our timber wolf. Okay. Just don't fall down, man. Okay, there's a fire starter back there. Freaking clan fire starter with a gauss rifle, because of course. I think we kind of got out a little bit lucky on this one. They have very, very, very few um, indirect fire vehicles. I mean, a lot of their guys have got indirect fire, but nothing concentrated. We were able to take down that that uh, that fire support early. Shit. Commander. Oh, I'm hit. Yeah. Well, we knew that mech was going to be the weak link. I just didn't think that, uh... I didn't think that they would, uh... be able to knock him down before he was going to get a chance to get out of there. Okay, who do we have going next? Hellion's going next. Rack is down. Okay, so who can we shoot on then? Widowmaker. Great, I have no idea what that is. Uh, pretty low. 65. That's pretty damn good. On the Widowmaker. He's taking some damage already. So we're going to split fire this. Contribute to some carrier damage. Let's hit the w Widowmaker with the bees. Um, and go. Guess I'll give it to him then. Okay, whatever damage we can apply is always good. Nice streaks hit. Wonder if our Atlas's rack is down. If this guy decides to close, man, without support, he's dead. I'm hit. Fucking head hit? Are you kidding me? I think he's down behind a hill. I don't think I don't think they get a direct line of sight on him. This guy might. But I think the rest of them don't have a direct line of sight on them. I uh, take it back. We're going to shut his ass down here in a second. Yeah, you got too much damage, buddy. Yeah, that was a mistake. Well, at least it's cheap to rebuild. Although we can't replace those ATMs in any way. Okay, get up here. Fire on this guy. Beautiful. Didn't think we'd get the kill, but I'm glad we did. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, that's four down. This guy's really overheating. He's going to be super overheating in a second. Hoping to shut his ass down, but we'll see. That's interesting maneuver. Yes, Commander. I need you to shut someone's asses down. Someone's ass down for me, please. Yep. Is that both of them? No, just this guy. Guess who we're gonna put a headshot on? Infiltrator. 
I know you don't have the headshot capacity anymore, but he shut down. We don't need to worry about that. <laughs> He's going to take it right in the face. You want to shoot a guy on the ground? I'll show you what happens when you shoot someone on the ground. Thank God for AMS. Ah, uh, that's fine. At least he didn't die. <laughs> ah, we didn't get a headshot. Oh well. I was really hoping for that, but can't have everything in the world, I guess. Still got some people left, though. Who's that? That's this guy. I think. Let's see if we can take his head clean off. Nope. Sure as hell torso him though. And knock his ass down. Move order received. Yes, Commander. Uh Go after this guy. Hopefully, I was hoping we could push him to try and punch out, but not going to happen. Just stay there. All right, AMS is unjammed. Beautiful. Who do we have left? Anybody? I think that was it, right? Dallas workhorse both went. Okay. Oh, we got Gundal left. <gasps> Should we go after this guy? He's trying to avoid being shut down. That's what he's doing. No, I think... Uh, I'm a jerk like that. Thank you. All right. Don't worry, Mastodon. We got your revenge for you. He did the right thing, though, by bailing out. If he didn't, he would have just laid there and died. So the ATM versions of these are going to be situation. I think really that's got to be a city fighter. Oh, this guy's decided to come in to die. I think this uh, mad cat's got to be a city fighter. Sorry, Timberwolf. Where we don't have these large ranged confrontations. The worst part about this map too is that if you decide to go into the water, you're like a sitting duck, right? If you decide to try to go around it in over here, you're a sitting duck. I mean, I guess you could push this way and try to use these ridges as defense, but no matter what, they're going to be like going to have like a good line of sight and good fire like fire like fire lane on you, so this mountain right now, especially with the number of guys we have over here, is really the only defense we have. All right, girls, bring that rack up again. Can we hit this guy with the rack? We sure can. Um, yeah, I think we need to do that. I think we got to target this guy. He is a stable firing platform that I want gone. So we're going to target him this turn. 
He's got a good vantage point to shoot at us, so if we can pull him down, that will be nice. So the Atlas and this guy is this turn. I'm going to tie these guys up with some arrow. Nice little bit of uh, heat. And we might tag this guy with some Inferno rounds, or Hydra rounds, we'll see. I know Hydra does A AoE splash, but we may target the Puma here. The Puma. And see if we can spread the damage amongst these guys. He's disappeared again. We're going to be out of AMS soon. We are going to be out of AMS soon. Time for some Hydra. Let's drop it on this guy. Just see how it does. Wow, there's a kill for you. One more for the trash. I have no idea what to say to that. I honestly have no idea what to say to that. That's a lot of <laughs> That was a lot of damage. I guess I should check to see if I got more Hydra ammo. Sorry, I apologize whoever it was that mentioned that the Hydra is the best uh, LRM ammo, but I I just I just no no way I thought that that could be it reading the stats on it, but sh sure enough. Sure enough. Alright, that dire wolf's trying to like cool his ass off. But we're gonna put the uh right now the arrows down in here. Get a shot at that guy. Okay, nice. Infiltrator. Oof, terrible. Wow, we can actually see the Naga. Ah, we're only long range for him, eh? The closer they are, the so much harder for me to hit. I don't know if I can get the heavies on that guy from here. Well, we'll just move up, see what we get. Okay, we got this guy back too, which is nice. So we can use the heavies on him. Or we could just use them on this guy, which I think we're going to do. Oh, this guy's taking a head hit. One of the racks must have, must have clocked him one in the face. Alright, wish we had the headhunter on this guy, but we don't. Ooh, there's the knockdown. And he vanished. Because of course he did. Won't let me capitalize on it at all. Ready for orders. Let's see how this does. Roger. Ah, a little bit of damage. It's mostly the heat I want. I wonder how a lance of like all arrow f mechs would do on a map like this if you just pull back to the farthest corner and just started raining damage on them. I mean eventually they would probably close with you but you'd be out of range for most of their weapons. He's 80 tons, eh? We can get the barrage and the Naga. Not hitting any of those guys. Warhammer. Wow, we're the HE range of the Warhammer, so we're going to go ahead with this. Let's Warlord it. Using the barrage on him as well. 
Uh, yeah, just to apply some heat. Let's do it. Well, we destroyed the base with all the stuff in it, but whatever. Sorry about that. Oh, it hit back here. Well, that's kind of nice. We lost sight of that uh, atlas back there. Let's move over here. God, the chances to hit. This thing's got stealth and shiz on it, right? 38. 80 on the dire wolf. Well, we're taking that. All three hit. Beautiful. Not as good. Oh, there's a friggin' Dire Star back here now. Oh, man, really? This guy's taking more damage. Let's just hammer him. Move, boy. Get out the way. Dire Star coming. That's a Hellion kill mech. We gotta shred that guy before he gets close. That's where the arrows are going next, is that Dire Star. Is that the Atlas standing up? It was, too. Figures. Nice of you to fall down and hide, only to stand up and shoot at us. You big turd blossom. This guy's stealthy as frig. This is a goofy kill, Mac. We gotta get on this guy with the ATMs. Oh, he's gonna stay there, is he? That's a big mistake. Most likely doesn't want to move in, which is probably a smart move. Okay. Arrows, I want to put in here. This guy looks like he's hot already. Could be wrong. But I want to drop them in here. Hopefully we can get, get this nag guy as well, but put him right in here somewhere. Cl clip this dire star. Hopefully he'll not shoot. And then we'll use the uh, hydro ammo on it as well. Now how much should we take in the CT? That's a lot of CT damage. 122. Yeah, you know who you gotta shoot at now. Hopefully we can force that Warhammer to, to GTFO, man. There's only one target. No, ah, a lot of ones. That's not bad. Means it's spreading the fire around, which is beautiful. We only got one more turn of Hydra firing, but I think that should probably be enough. We should be able to pull that Dire Star down. And I'm hoping we pull this Atlas down this turn. I can't remember. No, I didn't. I thought I thought I put the headshot uh, fire control system in the um, Atlas, but I didn't. I left it in the Orion. Okay, we're gonna drop it right in here. Got it. Still got like after this turn, we still got two and a half turns of firing with Hydra. 
or with the Inferno? Okay, what are you up to, buddy? He's probably going to fire on Goofy. Most likely indirect, but we'll see how it goes. I started thinking salvage out of this. It's probably a no-brainer. There's three uh, dire wolves here, so. Oh, the Atlas has vanished. Let's move out here. Okay, let's shred them. Let's hope, for, let's hope for the kill on this one. I like to like to see this guy go down. Okay, well, it's fine. Yes, Commander. Now. Can't get in and get on these other guys without drawing attention to myself. Let's switch over to stand. Look at this thing. Switch over to standard and clock this guy. Nice. Mech destroyed. Thank you. Yeah, the ATM mechs are not the right mechs for this map. Coordinates confirmed. Thanks, buddy. I wonder if we make that. Um, I mean, we could make both Timberwolves um, the LRM mechs. Although I like the fa I like them being fast ATM mechs, because in the city streets and stuff, they'd be perfect for that. It's just finding the right niche for the right mech, you know. Um, this is the Atlas here. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. Do I want to see if we want to core this guy? 85% if we hit the core, hit, this, hit the uh, mech. Let's do it, see if we can core him. No. Do a bunch of damage, but not enough to core. That's fine. Let's move over here. He's <laughs> shooting this fire starter I'm worried about now. <laughs> <laughs> With the ten percent chance to hit, I don't know what we're gonna do to get against that guy. Like I said, it's a goofy kill. He's got to get into a point where Goofy can get the ATMs on him. If we can get behind him with the ATMs, he's pretty much done. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Yeah, I'm gonna step in the water, get a bit, get a little cooler here. This mech does run a little warm, but that's fine. Seventy percent on this guy. Uh, let's warlord it a little higher. Oh yeah, man, good shooting. Yeah, like he's like that guy's almost like overheated. All he can do is just sit there. Alright, let's give this guy a real bad day. Nope. Nope, not enough. Just move over here and get yourself one chevron of evasion if you can. <laughs> Every chevron counts in this battle. Every chevron counts. Even if it means just one missile less hits. A fucking Atlas. Uh-huh. I'd like to take another Atlas. Look at that, just what? 
he just vanished again. I can't target you. Asshole. Well, you know who's going to get the arrows. You're getting arrows, buddy. That's a big F you. I still want to know why some of these mechs have got smoke coming off it. Someone said that was because they have internal combustion engines, but I don't think so because the ghost doesn't have an IC engine. Maybe it's laying a smoke screen? I don't know. Where's the beep, beep, beep? Oh, it's the Warhammer. That's a pretty damn good move, buddy. I'm thinking we're going to drop the ATMs over here, though. See if we can get the Cascatel and the Rhino. They're close together. Grand Summoner's there. Is this another Grand Summoner? What was that guy? Sorry, Goofy. Hang in there. Yeah, I think we'll drop it into here. We might claim the Cascatel. We might we might get the Rhino, unlikely, but Grand Summoner. And who's this guy? Another Grand Summoner. Okay. This guy's roasting already. Oh. He jumped. Maybe not then. Oh, that won't be a kill. But we're taking it. He's already moved this turn. So we might get another opportunity to shoot him in the back, maybe? Yeah, we can from over here. Decided to run. Not much of a chance to hit, but we'll take all of it. Ooh, the barrage hit. Well, I landed close enough. That guy is attempting to not shut down? I don't know. So I do have another advanced AMS. I do need to find more ammo, though. It's one of the things we do need to get. And as we've noticed in these battles, um, one ton of Hydra left. We definitely need a lot of AMS ammo. I got like 1,600 rounds on this guy. Or had. We got 257 left. Uh, I'm going to drop it on this direwolf. Is that a kill? Yeah. I'm out of long range missiles. Oh, you're at a Hydra, but that's fine. Good kill, man. Good kill. I think the arrows are going to go over here now. That dire wolf's down. We might be able to pull this guy down. We still can't see this guy. It's peeing me off to no end. Um, let's go with Inferno too. It seems to be doing really well, so let's drop it right in here. Hopefully we can get both these vehicles. Affirmative. Nope. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. You're not. Stop complaining. You know who else complains? The enemy, when we're shooting them. This guy's about to take some heavy hits of his own. Come on, man. You gotta do better than that. Who do we have left? Gundal? That's it. 
And that's or we have Dallas left too. You should, right? That's that asshole back up on that hill again. Armor's about falling off right there. I'm here. Oh man. Okay, just don't right. miss. I don't want you shooting our guy in the back. There you go. Next that Atlas has been pissing you off, hasn't it? I could tell. He's been annoying you, hasn't he? You know what? Let's give him a bad day. What do you think? Let's give him a bad day. That arm flying off. Uh, it's just so enjoyable. What do you got? Not much armor left in that location. Three ballistic. Oh, he's probably got uh, one of those things called those one ton uh, mag shots. You got lots of armor. 48, that's like more armor than anybody needs. Alright. Let's get serious now. Commander. Rack attack is back. Let's get this guy out of here. I know that Atlas can uh, is needs to be at attended to, but we need to get rid of this guy. Not as steady. No crap. Well, he's just kind of standing there, though, so should be able to pummel him. I wonder if Goopy's got enough speed to get over here to hit him with the ATMs. Order. Uh, this guy's taking stability. Let's hit him again. Or we could just kill him. I was hoping for the knockdown, but whatever, man. We'll take that. AMS is jammed again. Okay, they should be down to what? Five, ten guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm sure they got more guys. Gonna switch these to regular and see if that makes a difference. Acknowledged. Okay. Not sure you if that was. You can. Not sure if that was because of uh, those arrows or if it was just because that guy had already taken a lot of damage. It's hard to know. This guy's an 80 ton vehicle anyway, so he's going to take a lot of hits. We'll shut the Naga and this uh, Grand Summoner down in the next turn. Time to push. We're going to push it now. Alright, who's next here? So Hellion's gone. Workhorse is gone. Grand Summoner is going to be gone in a second. We got our three 100 tonners. We got Goofy. Let's focus fire this uh, Warhammer. Okay, that was a hard hit. 
Uh, I know I said we were going to focus fire this guy. Better chances on this guy. And more damage. Nice, tag on. Start pushing forward. This map's ours. We are just going to push forward. No penetration yet, but that's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, rack jammed again. Let's not do something stupid like getting out in the open there. Let's move around this way. It's either going to be this guy, 37 or 33. She's got left in the CT here. That's probably going to be a kill. Yes, Commander. Pretty damn close. Let's sweep this guy aside. That's a kill. You want to freaking shoot Goss rifles? There's your Goss rifles for you. All right, guys. Next round. Phase 26. Who's going on 26? Probably the ghost. Certainly not going to be this guy. So they got six on the map board that I can see. One, two, three, four, five. And then one from the main lance. Now I got one on 26, huh? He's by the stone rhino. So we're going to drop the, uh, the arrows on here with the inferno ammo. Keep that Naga nice and toasty if we can. I know he's in the water. It's not going to make that much difference, but... Whatever. Racks are jammed, so let's just target this guy. Another one for the kill board. LRMs are gone. They are. Keep these guys nice and toasty. Yeah, that looked like some penetration there on the uh, carrier. Let's target the carrier. We're down to 109 rounds. Yeah, that guy's taking a lot of damage. Alright, we're just going to open up on this guy. Tag on, beautiful. Keep walking it forward. Those hold two hexes. Ah, oh, Mastodon, we made him pay. It's a good thing they didn't have any heavier mechs. That would have been a, that would have been really bad. Okay. They are still trying to put up a good fight, though. Reporting. 
let's stay together. Let's do this. Because we can. Multiple targets confirmed. We'll have the spillover from the barrage on this guy. Yes, and we killed the vehicle with the spill. Nice. I'm receiving you. Oh, you can see him. Let's take the shot. Oh, the big one hit. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. Just walk it up. Get those two hexes. Move up first, not shoot Goofy in the back by accident. Ah, crappy chances to hit, but we'll take him. Alright, rotary's undamaged, or repaired that is, unjammed. So we got a Naga, the Ghost, and I think we've got two Grand Summoners, or did we kill one already? Wasn't there another one over here? So many mechs, so little time. Somebody's got to kill this guy. So hard to hit. Alright, one hit. Not bad. Keep moving forward. Those three hexes. Every hex counts. I guess we could drop the arrows over there. We've only got one uh, Inferno round left, so we'll switch it up with uh, um, the regular round, but we will use the Inferno on the Ghost. There's another mech back there. I knew it. I knew they must have had more guys. It's finally showing up for the battle a little late, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, I knew there was another Grand Summoner. What is? There we go. System's holding. System's holding. It's working. It's working. I don't know if we can get that Naga from over here. I want the Atlas to crest the hill and shoot on the Naga, but I don't think we can do that. Oh, Grand Summoner's got some balls. All right, direct fire on this guy. Got to start on him. Yes, Commander. Can we get a solid line? Oh, we can get a solid line from back here. I hope we're in HE range. Yes, Commander. And that we are. Beautiful. Let's hammer him. Solid connection on that. Okay, we got a line of sight in the ghost. Let's take it. I'm gonna put the tag on. Oh, they're both big ones hit. Right leg destroyed. He's going down. Guardian ECM destroyed. That's it for this guy. I'll take my one hex over here. Thank you. Huh. 
Nothing, huh? Let's get up here and see if we can get that Naga. Oh my god, yes. All three hit. Say goodbye to your whole side. Have a seat. Cool looking loadout. It's kind of like a different cross between a rifleman and a uh, archer. Okay, we're going to roll the bones. Oh, we can't multi-target that guy. Oh, because he's stealth. Let's go this route. Two for one. There you go. There you go. Gotta like that. Alright, next turn. They're going on 23. Probably the Raptor. This guy's dead. That guy's... So this guy's the main lance. This guy's the main lance. That guy's the last support guy. Um, yeah. Let's just start on this guy. Um, sure. Don't know if he's gonna run away. Just stay up on the hill. Probably the Grand Summoner now. We should be able to push with our... Oh, he's jumping over here. I love the fact that these guys fight. They don't run. They don't have nowhere to go anyway. Like, I mean, the, the shoreline ends like right here. They can't go any farther than that, so... Not like there's anywhere to run to. Alright, let's multi-target this. Oh, I can't multi-target that guy. Damn. Oh, well. Uh, let's start killing this guy. Well, the barrage hit near him. Let's get up here. Side shot. Completely unstable, foot destroyed. Did we knock him over? No, we didn't. Well, there's the kill. Did we get his head? Right torso. Pilot, I don't know. I don't think we took his head off. I think that was just a torso hit that blew up his engine. Alright, Lilo Dallas, let's get up here. Where was that solid? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's just get in here. Ooh, he's got like no side left here. Still going. Critical hit, Commander. Stay out of the fucking spore field. Ah, see if we can kill this guy like this. I left the rack off because I want to take a shot at the uh, raptor with it if we can. Alright, is he going to move forward? He's running. Alright, we're going to chase his ass down, I guess. Think Goofy, do you think he can chase his ass down? Three turns of fire. 23, that ain't bad. Standing by. 
Okay, duck. Still got nine turns of fire. Nine more turns. Yeah, that arrow mech, I'm telling you. Just got to stand back and shoot now. That's all it's got to do. Okay, maybe we get lucky. Load the cargo at the same time. Kill this guy. HE is working. Firing it. Unlikely, though. Oh, penetration. Get over here in case that guy comes around the corner. Yes, come in. We have the ad. Yeah, we're losing sound. It's got something to do with these jungle maps. I'm surprised it started messing up this far in. Ready for order. Hit the flank again. Not enough. Reporting. Receiving you. Two turns of fire left. 47, that ain't bad. Nah, it's gonna be a goofy kill. Alright, just brace these guys. There you go, buddy. Beautiful direct line of sight. Got just 30 rounds of HE left. It's perfect. Shredded. See ya. Let's go home. Alright, well I should put Wolf and Jade Falcon at equal terms. So we should be able to bounce back and forth between the two now. Timberwolf's gone. Not much we can do about that. Didn't get destroyed though. Mastodon's still alive. He's out for 28 days, but that's okay. I mean, we'll get him back in the battle. Um, experience, okay. It's not bad. A thousand each. 1400, 1800 for workhorse. It's nice. Let's see what our salvage situation is here. Now, Dire Star Prime, a full Dire Star, eh? Um, it's a lot of PPCs. Atlas 2C. Does the Atlas 2C. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's got a regular, I don't think it's an Omnimax, it won't have an Omnicore. I can really only take one though. I'm thinking maybe it's the Dire Star. Because if we're, I mean, we're not going to keep the PPCs most likely. They're inefficient compared to heavy improved lasers. That's what I'm finding. Um, based on weight to heat to damage ratio. So we could sell all the intact PPCs. They're worth a couple hundred thousand each. Or a hundred and something thousand each. ATM 12, quantity 2. It's a possibility. Large blaze fires. These are nice. They do 50 damage, 36, the same heat. Almost the same range as the uh, clad ER lasers, ER larges. Eight la clad ER larges is 810 meter range, I think, or 840. So those are kind of nice. We've got one right now. Yeah, see, here's all the ER PPCs. 1.3 million. So, so they're about 100, 160 each, 180 each. C bills. Oh, they're HA 40s. Supposedly damage 200. Damage fall off. Laser AMS. We're out of these right now. Okay, what's going to give us direct upgrades? That's the question. Pair of Ultra 5s. That's the other option for the rack, is to put a pair of Ultra 5s on them. Be like the the racks firing at uh, four rounds. 
every turn with a far less jam ratio. But I don't know, I like front loading that damage. Um, heat. These guys were all in the uh, Warhammer. DNI cockpit. I, you know what? I haven't been turning things on and off on my Max currently, so I'm probably not going to start. Um, Clan XL. We've only got we got two of these. Okay, I, th I thought we already had one. So let's not do that. I wonder. Is an Atlas 2C part comparable with an Atlas part? Nova CEWS, man. Let's take that. Two tracker sensors. It's a possibility. And then this is just all ammo. So, tracker sensors I'll leave for, for lower level missions. I don't know, guys. Um, pair of Ultra 5s, maybe? Like, there's 7 tons, right? I mean, maybe we do an Ultra 5 build on the... Um, on one of the Mad Cats, one of the Timberwolves. Rather than going the LRM build, we could go a pair of Ultra 5s and maybe a pair of Ultra 2s. Don't know. Alright, what are the direct upgrades that we'll need here? I mean, those two ATM 12s are nice. HA 40s, 16 tons though. For like, I don't know. Pair of ATM 12s, seven tons. I think an ATM three and an ATM nine is probably lighter. That's one and a half. I think it is. Because an ATM-9 is 5 tons and a 3 is 1.5. It's lighter to go with 2 than it is to go with the ATM-12s. Although if you're limited in number of slots, like on the Atlas. But we're really not. We have so many Omnimex. Um, although, I mean, the benefit of the Atlas is that we can put those... Maybe we take the 2C instead. Because we can put the weapon mounts in, right? That's the one thing that's given the... You know, an Atlas, a huge advantage is the weapon mounts and the arms. Let's go with the 2C. Um, this guy is the what? ERPPC by a large pulse laser in each arm. Ultra Auto Cannon 20. I'm going to take that. Because if we get the chance to assemble a direwolf, maybe we'll assemble this guy. So let's go this route. See how we do here. Okay, we got three Atlas 2C parts, one direwolf, fire starter and grand summoner part. Okay, two ERPPCs, large pulse, two mag shots. We've already got a couple mag shots, I think. I should think about putting those as backup weapons on the uh, the one direwolf that we have. We don't really have the um, the weight or the space. Uh, streaks, extreme range, two cores, that's good, we can sell those. Fire control, Artemis, double heat sinks, sensors, ultra auto kind of 5 ammo. Okay, so, I mean, it's mediocre. Okay, here we go, yeah, we, we took a hitting in, in C bills on this, but that's fine. Not really worried about that, we've got so many mechs now that it's like we can just sell them, that's like, that's half of what a mech costs, or ability to sell a mech that is. All right, let's manage our tasks a little better here. Uh, I'm not so concerned about our Timberwolf. Let's bring this... Actually, before we do this... Atlas is 13 days, eh? Uh, let's go to the mech bays, because I want to drop the Orion out, that extra Orion that we have. Uh, because now that we've got the Atlas, we don't really need this guy. We're going to drop him out of service. 
and we're going to go ahead and assemble that other atlas and here we go atlas 2c let's ready this guy and looks like we do have another Atlas 7K. Do we have the ability to assemble another Atlas? We do. Oh my god. Okay, the 7K. Uh, 300 XL engine. Gauss rifle, PPC, and a small laser. And what's this last guy? 7D. Uh, so that's just basically the standard one. S3. I'm trying to think of what one we'll get most out of. This is uh, 161 for for hard points, 161, two ballistic, four laser, and two missile. I think I want the versatility of the, uh, of this guy. I think I want versatility over, well, you know, that being said, Are we really going to use two ballistic and and two missile hard points? I guess it really depends on how we load it out. You know what? This is the guy that's got the stealth model, right? Guardian ECM suite. Gauss rifle. PPC. This is the we'll probably get more out of this one. Dollar wise, so let's go ahead and assemble this guy. Just ripping through all our C bills here. Okay, let's have a look in the bays here. Now, the 2C, see what we got in this guy. Let's hope a lot of stuff is intact. Okay, the core is there, Clan XL is not. That's going to be a lot of friggin'. A lot of friggin dollars. How much is it going to cost to repair this guy? 675,000. But we got the core in there, which is good. It's a good start. Oh, and it's got... A, ah, this is what I was looking for, the variety of hard points. This is really the guy we want to use on the front line. Yeah. Let's confirm the repair of this guy. Let's get this running. And let's have a look at the other one. Log and note. Uh, where are you here? 7K. Okay, his right arm's gone. Uh, so the engine's intact too. Beautiful. The XL's not though, so that's another four million. God damn. Um, what's the repair value on this? Four hundred ninety-two. Let's get it started. Okay, guys, there we go. Now we got to decide what we're going to keep and what we're going to get rid of. Um. I'm thinking this Orion might go. We could outfit the 7K like the Orion. And then the other Atlas, I'm thinking of turning into a versatility one. Like I'm thinking about playing around with the sawed off thumper. Or maybe this guy becomes the clan one. And this guy becomes the sawed off thumper and maybe another arrow or something along that line with some with the AMS. Because um, maybe we can repurpose the one night gear that we've got right now with the double arrows and split the arrows up. Maybe we put them on... Uh, I don't know. Let me think about it.
Let me think about it. But we definitely want to have our two main, like we want to have eight good solid mechs, which we do have now. We got four, we got five 100 tonners. And then we'll take a couple of versatility mechs when we're taking the big missions. And then when we take the smaller missions, I want to have a bunch of versatility mechs for those as well. But we're going to need to sell some stuff from storage because we got no sea bills left. So I will be sell selling mechs. Most likely it's going to be the Grand Summoners. Um, we do have a bunch to sell. Um, so I'll go ahead between episodes and do that and I'll fix up the uh, the repair times here. Most likely, if we look at the command center right now, I don't think... Yeah, there's no Jade Falcon. There was one Jade Falcon mission here uh, against local pirates. Now do we have a High Skull here? Yes, for Wolf. So I think what we'll do is we'll stay here, do the Five Skull for Wolf, do the Five Skull for Jade Falcon to get our rep up really high. That way we don't run the risk of actually dropping our rep for either one of these guys when, when we play them back and forth. Or if we find a mission that's like against Wolf from from somebody else, uh, like the local government, or against Jade Falcon from a local government, we're not running the risk of dropping below our max, and we can do those. I think we'll do that. We'll stay here and pull these two five skull missions off. So I'm going to get the stuff repaired, uh, sell a whole whack of stuff. Um, there's also a comment in the comment section saying that I've been holding on to too much gear. Yeah, totally. I, I agree. Um, I've been trying to keep stuff just so that because with the number of mechs we have right now, I can try a little bit different loadouts and mechs. And definitely selling the stuff I know we'll probably never use. A lot of the medium range and short range weapons have gone. Um, but there's still some stuff I want to try, like the sawed off thumper. Uh, we've also got the broadside, the mortar. I want to try that off, try that as well. Um, we'll probably load those into the next loadouts and some of the mechs here and uh, play around with it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.